Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can make this cool metallic text effect directly in PowerPoint. So let's jump straight into it. As usual, we'll start with a blank presentation. We'll right click, layout, blank. Now let's add our text. I'm going to use fig tree 100 points and make everything capitals. I'm actually going to use the black variation for this to get it extra bold and a hundred point. Now we want to turn this into a shape rather than text. And one of the easiest ways to do this is simply to control D to duplicate it, align them together with a line center and a line middle, then go to shape format, merge shapes and choose a union. Now this is a shape rather than text. So it isn't editable, but it will give us the flexibility to add this cool effect. So I want to duplicate this again, control D, drag this out of the way for now. I'm going to align both of these to the center of the page so we can control G to group, align, align center, then control shift G to ungroup. Now I can click on oval, click anywhere, and I want to drag this to pretty much the whole width of the page by using these middle points here. Then we can adjust this, to whatever curve we want to give this metallic looking effect. It doesn't have to be precise, but we can drag it down and use the curse keys to position it where we want. And that's probably about right. Now we can click on the text, hold down shift, click on the oval, then go to shape format, merge shapes, and this time we're choosing intersect. That will give us this nice curved piece of text here, which should look really good when we apply the gradient and put it over the other text below. So now we can apply some effects to this. We can go to shape fill and make it a gray. This one should do. Right click format shape line and give it a solid line of white and it will be 1.5 point. While we're working on this, I'm going to change the background. So we'll go format background. I'm going to select this purple to black gradient. You can select any two colors you want. I've gone from a dark to a purple and chosen this first option which is linear diagonal. Now I can add a shadow to this. And for this, I'm just going to go to shadow, choose the second preset, which is offset bottom. Now we go to our top text and I want to select fill, gradient fill. And for this, I'm going to choose a white to a darker gray, but I'm going to select white and then just set it to minus 50 on the brightness, bring it to front, then add a solid line, for this, we'll have 0.75 because I think it looks better on the curve at the bottom. Now hold down shift and drag it down until it snaps into place. Excellent. A really quick, really cool looking metallic effect directly in PowerPoint. And you can easily make any of your own text in this style or use other color combinations to get this metallic looking effect. Finally, if you'd like to add any animation to this, you can select it, control G to group, then go to animations and add anything you like. For example, we can choose a grow. Go to animation pane, double click on this, set it to something like 110, press return, then give it to auto reverse, press OK. We'll want to set that down to something like half a second and add a fade at the same time and drag the fade up so it happens first and the grow shrinks so it happens with previous and then run that. Nice. If you want to, you can set the duration of this so it's a bit snappier, such as quarter of a second. And that gives a cool, really snappy effect. If you'd like to download the source files for any of these PowerPoint tutorials, there's a link in the description below. And if you want to become a PowerPoint expert and create stunning slides with amazing effects and animations, then check out the next video. Thanks very much for watching. If you like the video, please click the like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.